Hi all, my name is Dirk Koenig and I work for Canoe in Basel, Switzerland. Today I'd like to show you how a master detail view can look like on the web with the help of OpenDolphin. Here we have a master detail view. Master view is a table and detail view is a form. In a master detail view, I can select any entry in the master view and see the immediate update in the detail view. So if I change the selection, I see the change over here, change again, see it over here. I guess this is not surprising. But there is a little more and it is a little bit involved. Um, one is you see immediately that this is selected by the blue bar and the blue bar here. And second, um, we get a visualization that this is a pristine state. It's a clean state. As soon as we um, as soon as we change any data, let's say the workload is no longer 80, but it is uh, 100 for Andres. The value changes immediately in the master and the detail view at the same time, instantaneously. And you also see the yellow background here. The yellow background means it's dirty. We can reset the state to the old state and it's not dirty anymore, so it's visualized with the, um, with the white background. And when, when the state is um, pristine, then I cannot click on reset and I cannot say, click on save because there's nothing to save and there's nothing to reset. While uh, when I change the value, I can save it or I can reset it. We have seen the reset. If I save it, then this is the new pristine state, right? So see that here. Even if I change, let's say, let's make Andres uh, not a consultant, but an architect. You see over here in the master view why that entry is considered dirty. That is because of the architect, you see it by the, uh, by the different font. Even if I now go to a different team member over here, you still see in the master view that this is dirty, even though the currently selected one is clean. You may also have recognized the instantaneous update and we can change this for example uh, have this with with my with my name in this in this spot so let's say um koenig uh, with the o umlaut may not be the the right thing for for um for english versions so i delete the o umlaut and you see the instantaneous update over here and then I click on uh, OE, oh. like so. And uh, everything happens at the same time. Now here we have 31, there we have 31. Right? And if I change my mind, go back here and say reset, and I have the, the same value here we have again. And here I may want to say save, and then it's all clean. You get an immediate consistent view of the whole system, including enabling of buttons when they need to be enabled. It even goes further. So let's say this, this detail view um, should not be enabled at all while we do the save. This is a bit hard to display, but, but when we are saving, in the process of saving, it should be disabled, and it really is. So let's say uh, make it available now. If we click save, this has a double click protection. It will have the whole form um, going to disabled and being enabled again as soon as the save has been done. Now on the desktop, this is so fast that you will not see it um, on a mobile and this, this whole design is very mobile friendly. Um, on a mobile device, you'll see it like so. When you then click on save, you see it flickering in the, um, from, the, in the, from the disabled state to the enabled state again. So this kind of responsive design for um, for smartphones and tablets and desktop at the same time. Now, for consistency in um, in a master detail view, we also have to consider the point that there may be no selection. Let's say we have deleted all the existing ones, then there is no selection. At this point, you see it's no longer blue. There is no selection and uh, it's all disabled. I cannot click on anything. It is disabled. As soon as there is new data entries, it is enabled again. 
second. Let's say we have selected this one. Let's give it a number up here. This is number one and this is number two. Now we can still delete this number one. What would we expect with the selection to happen? Well, this is an uh, application-specific decision, or you may want to have that kind of behavior in, in a real control. Now, HTML and JavaScript doesn't really have a control, so um, it has no real controls, not like JavaFX or so. That makes it more difficult. But uh, you want to have consistent behavior, and the typical consistent behavior, when I click on this minus, is this line will be gone, and the next row will become this line, and it will get the next selection. Right? So minus. Now the two is selected, and the two is selected over here, and it is dirty because that one's dirty, and so on. That is what you expect. Um, when you click this one, and there is none that comes from the bottom up, um, you expect the selection to go up. Right? Such that you can even, by clicking multiple times here, have a very quick selection of multiple entries. If you uh, try to, to do this kind of behavior with plain HTML and no support like Open Dolphin is giving you with its presentation models, this is really hard to achieve. So if you would like to try out this behavior with, um, with Open Dolphin, and by the way, the only, um, you only need Open Dolphin and uh, require JS and nothing else. There is no jQuery or AngularJS or anything um, in the mix here. It is it's also plain static uh, Java, HTML and, and JavaScript and, and nothing else in the mix. So if you go to uh, view and binding, for example, you see it's all open on GitHub, uh, the full source code, including everything. This is a bit of a lengthy one because I wanted to have everything in one page. This is the whole code that you need um, for running this kind of example and uh, controllers and constants and so on. We do have um, other examples as well with uh, GWT and with uh, AngularJS and delivering the JavaScript f not directly from plain HTML, not from a plain file, but from, um, from Grails, for example, or from any kind of server where you can have better integration with Java. But this one here is plain JavaScript. So I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, see you next time with Open Dolphin JavaScript.